Hey guys, welcome back to my channel War Paint. I'm just gonna jump into this chit chat, get ready with me because I always like have to think too much when I have all my makeup on and I'm like, oh, I have to do the intro and the outro to film for this video. Like, I don't know, this is first world problems that maybe you don't understand unless you're a YouTuber. Anywho, I'm just gonna get into this chit chat, get ready with me. I haven't done one of these and I think this is my second one on my channel in a year and a half. So anyway, let's just get started. And as you know, tist, I'm in my living room actually because I have to be honest with you guys. Like it's been, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to use my NYX Angel Veil Primer. Um, it's just been really hard for me to sit down and film. And I have time to do it sometimes, but I'm like super exhausted or I'm just uninspired like I set up my room as soon as I moved here I installed all of those um, I'm looking at them right now like pom-poms and I love my setup but I just feel really congested in there I just feel really cramped like our room is a lot smaller than it used to be and literally we don't have a dresser right now so we have just like clothing and boxes and baskets like in our room waiting for a dresser and it's just uninspiring to be in there to try to film so I was like I'm gonna just move everything out to the living room where I have enough space to set up my lighting because I literally like my lights sit on top of me when I'm in my room and it's like really uncomfortable as weird as it is to already have a camera shoved in your face like I literally have an umbrella like this close to my face and then the camera like this close and Anywho, it's just super uncomfortable. So, I have my box of makeup in front of me. I'm going to get ready because I'm going to film um, some videos. And I thought this one would be fun too. And I think you guys will like it. I'm going to be using the, okay, Roma London Lasting Finish Foundation. If you follow me on Instagram, I did a wear test through the day with this foundation. And I wore it for a long, long, long time. I think I wore it like... I would say 11 to 12 hours and I wore it on a hike up a mountain in humidity and heat because it's supposed to be, it says on the bottle it is um, sweat, heat, humidity and transfer proof up to 25 hours. If you want to go check out like how my day went on Instagram, definitely do that with this foundation. I'm still testing it though. I don't just judge it by, you know, my first day with it. Um, I wore it already today. It's literally like 11 o'clock at night and I'm filming, but that's my life. It's fine. Um, so I'm getting ready for nothing. Like I'm getting ready to film. That's basically, I guess, probably what I'll call this video, but I'm using it and, um, my thoughts on it. Like I'm not going to try to hide anything from you guys until a review, but I like it, um, so far. We'll see. I mean, like, I don't, I know that my Estee Lauder Double Wear, would, I'm like applying this so weird, but I hate that it doesn't have a pump, so I, it makes everything about it sloppy, the application process and everything. Um, I know my Estee Lauder Double Wear would have lasted through that hike, and that's the only one I know I count on, so if I were like seriously needed to hike and look flawless, that's the one I'd go to, but I don't think I'll ever have that scenario. For instance, yesterday, when I took my Rimmel London Challenge on my own, I challenged Rimmel London to my face during a hike, so um, we went up hiking by this mountain that is just like right next to, I'm doing my Laura Mercier secret burning powder, um, right next to the Hollywood mountain, which is by Griffith Park in LA, which has, Griffith Park, it has the big observatory on top of it, and it's right by the Hollywood sign, so we hiked up this mountain and like everybody was looking at us because we had our kids with us. And they were just, like, impressed and surprised that our kids were, like, walking up this mountain. And the path was, like, wide and everything. Um, there was two sides to the mountain. Um, actually, multiple paths. One's called, I think, like, Death Drop or something crazy. And it's for good reason. Um, one of the runners that was on the path was, like, do not go that way. Do not take your kids that way. Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we went and, see that motorcycle? Um, we went and hiked a mountain yesterday. So it's just like, I knew I had the time off. So I was like, we got to go do something. And my husband had worked 
or no, he had to work um, last night, but we hiked before his work and props to him because I was exhausted and that's why I didn't film last night. So I've been really loving living here. It's like a tongue twister, really loving living here because there's so much to do and so much to see and a lot of it is just like free. I wrote down a big list of things I want to do. My daughter has like a little over a month left of summer break and there's um, a list of things that I wrote down to do that are free in LA. I'm going to set this with um, Makeup Forever HD translucent powder. This um, foundation, just FYI, is a little tacky, so I just feel like I need to set it with powder. And I wrinkle my forehead so much when I'm doing my makeup. Does anybody else do that? It's so weird. Like, I always am like, I don't know why I do that. It's so annoying because then I have to deal with it. I can't, like, get rid of them in any way. Oh, I forgot my Mac Fix Plus. Anyway, um, we've already done... Let's see, what have we done? What have we done this free? Um, I just put on these nails and it's starting to bother me. We went to this Travel Town Museum is what it's called and it's this park slash museum that's filled with locomotive trains and the kids are obsessed with trains. Like my daughter was obsessed with Thomas when um, she was little and she still really likes Thomas. We like have all the trains, we have a train table, well, we had a train table and like all the tracks and stuff and the kids love trains and we live by a train um in ohio and it was behind a cage but these are all like open and you can go and touch them and everything so they're like freaking out and in heaven and it was free like it was amazing because they were like so happy it was like taking them to disney world which or disneyland which they haven't done that yet but that's obviously not free that is not on the t the list of 100 free things to do in la I'm using a MAC Painterly paint pot. You know, I don't even know what I'm doing with my look today. I think I'm using like peaches, beaches and cream, beaches and cream, and creme brulee. They're all um, in the pan and in the palette, and I can't get them out, so I don't know which ones I'm using. But I'm making, I'm using makeup each try to do something really simple. So anyway. I wanted to talk about this. I had um, Beauty Junkies, which I mentioned before on my channel, send me out this uh, eye brush kit. And I, you guys, I'm going to do a review on these brushes. These don't all come in the kit because I think that I threw a couple. There's like a double of something. Anyway, there's a couple doubles in here. Um, these brushes, they're all you need. They are so amazing. I love them so much. They're so good. I'll talk about each one as I use it. I'm going to use the all over shader and put a base color down. These brushes are so good. Like, I didn't own a pencil brush until this kit came, and then I was like, what? Because I, like, see people apply to their lower lash line with pencil brushes, and I'm like, I really wish I had one. And one came in this kit, and it's, like, the price of one. The kit is, like, the price of one MAC brush. So it's like, hello. You guys, I will talk about that soon in a video. I'm wondering if I'll just continue to tape out in my living room until I can, like, feel comfortable in my bedroom. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if this background bothers you. <laughs> let me know if you hate my living room. Uh, I don't know if I'll change it, but you can let me know if it bothers you that I'm sitting out here. Or if it sounds funny. Alright, I'm going to take the Taper Blending Brush, which is just, like, the bomb and I'm gonna just kind of deepen up my non-existent crease I shouldn't have blown on my brush but I did because I, I was thinking I'll just tap that off now oh dear my phone buzzed so anyway I like to just kind of make a fake crease in my in my lid I can hear people talking outside. It's funny because I live in Chinatown, so you're like, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm not, yeah. I eavesdrop on people sometimes. <laughs> I like live in a place where there's a ton of people all the time. Um, not continuously walking by here, but like there's people all around here. And uh, I can't eavesdrop on Chinese people because they're speaking a different language. I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea. 
And it's really funny because there's these two older Chinese ladies that live next to me and I swear to you they're like in a constant fight. But I think that they're just, <laughs> they're just friends that yell at each other. I don't even know. Like it just seems like they're yelling at each other but I think that they're just talking. Anyway. And then, oh my gosh, my favorite brush, my favorite, you know if it's my favorite if I slip into a southern accent, is the angled shading brush. Like to get this down, it gets down into my inner corner and just like sweeps across like, like a dream. It's so good. I wish I knew what um, shadow this was. <laughs> I need to figure it out. It's just like this, when I, here, let me swatch it. I don't know what it is. I can't like get my stuff out of my MAC palette. I can't get my shadows back out. Like, look at this. Do you see this? This is what I'm putting on my lid right now. Girl, if I can figure it out, I will let you know in the description box. I will YouTube how to get your pan out and show MAC palette. I'm just doing a really simple eye look. I know it's kind of boring, isn't it? It takes me longer to do my makeup when I'm having to talk. I think that's normal though. It's fine. It's fine, you guys. It's fine. All right, so I have to do eyeliner now. Where are you, eyeliner? I don't even know if I will be able to. I always get stage fright when it comes to eyeliner, and I feel like I go out of frame every time to lose, lose. Oh, who? How? Who? Yeah. Mm. I feel like I have to be like super close to a mirror too and I, I don't have a mirror that's super close to me this one. It's like magnifying my eye. I just don't know if I want to do it right. This is terrifying you guys. Overcoming my fears right now. I remember back in December I had a collab with Sam Sherman and it was a tutorial. I was panicking because I was like, I think I did a wing liner. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to do my wing on camera. And I'm clapping with Sam. I may pee my pants. Not really. But I'm more like poop my pants because of stress. And I hurt my wrist. <laughs> and I couldn't do it on camera because my wrist was in a, a brace. And I was like, thank goodness I hurt my wrist. I can't. I don't have to do my, I don't have to perform my wing on my Sam collab. Alright, I'm using the NARS, NARS Guy Borden, Borden palette. It's okay because the stuff that's in here you can get. I'm going to be using, I can't decide. Um, I might be, I'm going to be using Laguna Bronzer to kind of bronze up and contour. And then, she doesn't make this anymore. And I don't know why. It, uh, either Bobbi Brown Blush and Desert Rose, which is like my favorite. And it's my only Bobbi Brown brush. Blush. This is my only Bobbi Brown blush. You try saying it. This is my only Bobbi Brown blush that I own. I got it at that place called CCO. I think. What is that called? Outlet. Cosmetics Outlet. Anyway, the Cosmetics Outlet. I'm not like super familiar with this. Look at this redness. Anyway. It's Desert Rose. I don't think it's me. She makes it anymore. I'm sure she has something very similar. You think you're going to use that deep throat sin sin i used in my last video and it showed up so gross on camera i don't know maybe it's because i was in that other room look at this redness i think i did wipe off my foundation and i feel like i'm gonna i can't leave it like that looks like i have a cold so i'm gonna touch it up but i rubbed it like really hard because i was like what is on my face so i mean obviously you should be able to get a foundation off by rubbing it a little right how else are you going to take it off? Okay. So. How I got off a no-buy. Or how I got through a, no, a six-month, two-day no-buy. This and the release of the ColourPop Lip. Liquid Lip Matte. Got me off my no-buy. And... Girl, if you got to go on a no-buy, people just don't have strong enough wills. Like, six months and two days. I mean, I had to. It was just, like, for my family. We 
used all of our savings to move here. I mean, we, we did what we had to do, and that's what I had to do. But if you really put your mind to it, you can do it. It's so possible. Like, who... You have to stop caring about the latest thing that comes out. And it wasn't like ColourPop lipstick came out and I was like, oh, this this is the one that does it. Like, I was ready to come off my no-buy anyway. And it just so happened that it released. But you know how I came off that no-buy? You know how? I definitely signed up my husband for the ColourPop um, newsletter on his email and received $5 off. So I literally paid shipping for that color pop I got one two so you just like gotta come off of it <sighs> gradually so blush I think let's go for a little bit of the deep root this is like a peachy color it's more for like lighter skin tones we'll see if it shows up I have like a bajillion colors on my brush anyway so I haven't washed it. And yesterday I wore the super pigmented, super pigmented um, Mary Kay blush, the mineral blush. It's still definitely on here. Because um, I wanted to see, like, I wanted to see for sure, like, when my makeup was rubbing off with that foundation. And it rubbed, it did, it came off. So, tomorrow I'm going to put my Rimmel foundation through a nine hour work day so it'll be on my face like ten eleven hours that'll be good and it'll be like active not just like sitting around so I'm gonna use lash domination from bare minerals it's a volumizing mascara and my friend Steph sent this to me from Steph MK Beauty 89 I want to say there's an 89 on there. I will link her below. She's trying to get me to like her Holy Grail mascara. This has been one of the um, one of the products that has been in my regrets videos. And I have thoughts on it. Okay, so because people are like, what's on your lashes? Are those natural? And I'm like, darn, they know that it looks good. Um... But there's things about this mascara. I don't know. I could do a single review. Let me know. This is Cherry Blue. Bob Buxom. Hey, hello. That's how my... Hey, <laughs> girl. Wow. You should enter the home. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. I don't know. I just said that. So that concludes my get ready with me. I'm about to film now. I'm about to film my video I can't tell you about because I don't know if this is posting beforehand. <sighs> Every little video that I'm posting recently will be in the description box and the products I used. And if I can figure out what that lip color was, I will put it down there, girl. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Thumbs this video up if you like these types of get ready. Thumbs this video up if you like these types of get ready with me. Because then I'll know that maybe every time before I film, I should do a get ready with me. And also let me know in the comments if it bothers you that you're in my living room right now. Because it makes me happy. It's just like stress free. I feel like I can like lay on my couch. It's all good. And I'm not crammed in a room. Like crammed. We will figure it out. We will figure this out. Together. You and me girl. Home girl. Alright guys. I will see you real soon in my next video. Thanks for sticking around. I love you guys so much. I'm so weird. But you guys love me anyway. Thank you. My top five. It's a top five series. This week it's foundations. And it is doubly special because you're not getting just my top five foundations. You're going to get my friend's top five foundations too. I am in, do I am in doing. I